Takashi 69 and all of his co-defendants had their bail pushed back. Not that I think this is a big deal. I just, you know, might as well give y'all an update on the happenings. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so, yeah. So 6 9 and his co-defendants were supposed to go into court on January 22nd in order for, like, the bail thing? But none of those guys is getting bail, so that's neither here nor there. So, at least I didn't think any of them were going to get any bail. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, so, real quick, a lot of people might be a little bit concerned or worried or they just don't understand why there is going to be uh, the, bail the bail hearing has been postponed. One... This really isn't anything that people shouldn't have thought was going to happen. Obviously, once you start changing lawyers, the bet is, you know, the law new lawyer is going to come in and they're going to basically say, well, you know, we haven't had enough time to assess the situation. We need to look over paperwork, yada, yada, this and this and that. And that's probably why the bell got pushed back. Another reason why the uh, bell probably got pushed back is that this is what I've been hearing. I think I've only been hearing this from other bloggers, but. I've been saying this from the rip. They're going to try to separate the cases. Now, with that being said, I'm not, I, I know um, much more about uh, state law than I do federal law. I'm going to look into the federal law on this. I'll go ask a couple people. I'll go look around. I've been thinking about going. I'm just going to go, you know, um, pop up on some lawyers and ask them about it. That's what I think I'm going to end up doing. Anyway, so the thing about all of this is, is as far as what I know, they are probably trying to separate the cases. I've been saying this. You can go back to Takashi videos I've been making ever since they got arrested. I've been saying this. This is not for new. So a lot of people think that that's the reason in which why the bell has been postponed or pushed back or whatever the case is. I don't think that's the reason why the bell got pushed back. I think it got pushed back just because there's new lawyers involved and if you're a lawyer worth your salt. The first thing you're going to do is when you start taking over for a client is you're going to start pushing um, court dates back so you could, you know, uh, maneuver to get into a better position. For what, uh, something that a lot of people definitely, I doubt that they know is a lot of the negotiations that happen about whether there's going to be a bail or whether there's going to be a, what we're going to plead to or whatever that is, that doesn't happen in the courtroom. Like this, this happens outside of the courtroom by one side lawyers speaking to the other side lawyers. And then the after they come to some kind of agreement, that agreement be then being brought to the judge. And then the judge has to sign off on it. That makes it so you can't have a situation where, uh, one side is, is giving something that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, we can't do that. We can't just allow these guys to walk out of the court without, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? And the judge can say, this doesn't, this isn't fair. You understand what I'm saying? Or this isn't lawful or whatever the case might be. So that's probably what's happening just for anybody that want a real quick update on this, not to keep y'all too long. Um, the reason why the court date just got pushed back is because I believe that there's like all three um, lawyers have been switched. And in addition to that, might I also add, I think one of the lawyers was representing one individual and now they're gonna, now they're trying to have them represent another individual. I don't even think that's gonna be possible, especially if they decide that they're gonna um, break up the, uh, the uh, cases. And the fact that they even tried to do something like that, you already know who they're trying to make the fall guy. I'm just gonna call it right here. You already know who they're going to try to make the fall guy. Just the fact that that was a thought that they tried to do. Have a lawyer who is representing one person in a case and in the same exact case for them to stop representing that guy and start representing another guy. That's like, what are you doing? Like, really? Really? That's what we doing now? So, um, just wanted to give you a real quick update on that. There will not be a bell hearing on the 22nd, which is uh, 
kind of messing me up on something that I was hoping was going to happen, to be honest with you. Um, but there won't be a bail hearing on the 22nd. Personally, I don't really look for any of them to get bail in the first place, to be honest with you. Um, numerous different reasons. Uh, I'm not against any of them getting bail personally. I'm just saying I don't look for any of them to get bail. Uh, that's all I got on this one. Uh, leave it down in the comment section, which I think personally might be the reason why the bell hearing was pushed back. If you, especially if you think something other than what I think, uh, leave it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.